Hey guys, here is overview of my water chiller from Coolens. This is the only model they have, so you can access Coolens website and see what the actual configurations are on this specific uh, unit. But here is just an overview of the entire piece, what it looks like. Um, just to give you notice, everything made of metal. No plastic pieces at all, very high quality, by the way, made in Korea, but designed in USA by Collins company. This handles all metal pieces, probably aluminum. As you can see, the clips, very nice, beautiful. Here is the port for filling the reservoir. On bottom display. From here you can see the compressor inside, also made this piece made of metal. Let me go from the back. Here is the in and out ports with my Beats Power fittings attached to it. These are separate so they're not come with the unit. By the way, the also unit comes don't have the power, power cord, so you should have your own. You can attach any one from your PC. On monitor. Here is the drain port. Go from the other side. And here you got three fans, 120 millimeter fans to exhaust the air from the core. All metal. Very beautiful piece. I'll show you one more time. And finally, of course, let's turn this on and see what the sound is. Here's the beauty of the best. Just listen for a few seconds. As everyone else saying, uh, this unit sounds like a mini fridge, you know? It's kind of true. It sounds like a mini fridge. The compressor itself when it's on, I guess now it's on, plus these fans are running. So it's kind of quiet, comparing to some other rigs PC with like a bunch of fans, like 20 fans, few, few reds inside. And let's see what the temps are. So at this moment it shows me the ambient is 16, you know what, it's not true, in my room the ambient is actually 25. So I'm not sure where this information is coming from. It may be 16 inside a unit, but the ambient in a room, which is my room temperature, is 25 Celsius at the moment. And the liquid liquid temperature, I power it to 10 degree below the ambient. So that's why it's 9.2 C right now. Uh, this is a safe operation to avoid any condensation on your tubing. So let's just take a look and see if there is actual condensation on it. Uh, it looks a little bit wet at this moment because I, what I did before, um, I set it to 20 below ambient and that's actually... But at this moment it's good. The water looks chilling. The loop is cold. The tube is cold, I'm sorry. However, the device itself is only 800 watt. It can power probably, uh, from where I heard on forums at overclock.net, uh, the folks saying this, the 800 watt probably more than enough for one CPU, one GPU, like motherboard components to cool, plus uh, your RAM. But if you wanna do a like, quad, Quad SLI, that's what I'm planning to cool like four Titans with this piece. It may not be enough. Um, the same tech guy from Coven said the same. Uh, you may waste your money and just better to get some ambient uh, cooling systems rather than this one. But if it's not work, I will probably get an additional ambient cooling system just for GPUs, for all the graphic cards and this unit will power my main CPU and motherboard and the RAM components. Probably gonna be more than more noise, but who cares, you know? We'll, we're here for performance, not for noise reduction, so... 
Yeah, compressor looks like it's working. It works good. Here is the model number. That's the only model number they have. Since that's the only chiller. I wish they have a bigger chiller, like 1200 watts, but they don't. But guys, um, it's a nice piece, very heavy, over 50 pounds, so <laughs> probably we need to park it underneath of the table due to the weight. It may weigh more than your PC components altogether. Uh, by the way, the pump at the moment set to 7 speed, it's 1 to, one to 10. Let me change it just to quickly show you what it can do. There is the pump. Let's push it to 10 just to get more noise out of this machine. And let's go the ambient. No, not this one. Let's put the ambient temperature for a high level. Just one moment. Here is the R. Liquid ambient. Oh, I set it to 5. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was wrong. Let's do it like in about 20. Let's see what it does. So basically, uh, when you set it to below ambient to minus 20, what it means, it will, uh, it will cool the liquid. Um, to almost zero degree <laughs> if the ambient yeah now it's it starts sound alarm because you're it gives me notice that you may have a condensation problem but you can shut this alarm off if you want it I don't know how yet uh, as you can see the liquid temp goes down it's 10 right now we're gonna look at the tubing in a few seconds just let's reach let's say five degree it takes some time to cool yeah it really takes time all right now we got nine ten again you know what probably it's gonna take forever <laughs> Let's go back and see what, what's going on in the tubing, just if there is any condensation. Like a little fog, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a condensation, but... The hand's not wet. So, yeah, just be careful with that. You don't want to burn your rig entirely due to this condense. So you probably won't... What, what I'm planning to do is just to seal my entire case and we'll see what's gonna happen anyway but probably I will connect this rig in, in the three weeks I don't have all my components yet uh, it's gonna be finished probably another two or three weeks I guess by the way here, here's my rig at the moment all powered those are 1440p displays all in surround setup so it's really good I guess all right Thanks for watching, I will post more videos in 3 weeks as soon as we connect everything and running. Thanks for watching.